Right, so this is just a video on how I made these uh, DIY DIY respirator covers. Um, I actually made a video already, and uh, this is actually the uh, a second part, but I'm going to put it on the first part of the video. So, because the first part of the video, the, uh, the cover was very, very messy, and uh, this one I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, and uh, basically... It's just the uh, winterization plant fabric and a rubber band, and uh, anyone can make it. Um, the respirator prices have gone through the roof. Uh, if you could find them, probably can't. But um, these filter cartridges are very expensive now, too. So when I use it for painting, I'm going to need the paint to uh, stay on the outside fabric. And... The nice thing about it is I could just bring extra fabric with me and all I'm going to really need to do is cut it, cut it to size and then uh, chain, change out these covers every time um, I feel like there's a, a lot of paint here already. Um, but yeah, this is just a plant material, uh, plant winterization material that I use for some uh, insulation. And uh, that's basically what it is. I cut them up to little pieces like this, and then I uh, tuck them around. I tuck them around the uh, the filter like that. Put your rubber band down. Cut around. Make sure you do not cut the the bands of your respirator. But enjoy the video. Um, I made this after the video you guys are about to watch. Thanks. All right, so here's a video on uh, a respirator cover that I did because I can't find the respirator covers for these North Half Face respirators anymore, anywhere. Uh, so I decided to make my own. Um, I use this. This is a what is this? Dewitt uh, frost protection blanket. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, this one is a two pack for thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. I bought a one pack for twenty four ninety nine. It's uh six six feet by fifty, I think. Yeah, six feet by fifty. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's just a frost protection blanket. If you put it up to your face, you could you could breathe through with it fine. Um, this is my painting respirator, and uh, the paint when when I'm painting with this um, goes into the uh, goes into the filter. So I wanted something to to block it so that I'm not going through filter so fast. So here's a little demonstration on what ends up inside the uh, filter or the cartridge when. There's no uh, filter stopping the paint. Let me see if this is the one that I cleaned up or if that's the dirty one. But. That must be the clean one. Taking out this one. There you go. So all that paint is inside the uh, is inside the filter um, if I keep painting like that the filter is gonna be uh, no good and uh, since it's it's a high commodity item right now um, I don't wanna keep running out let me just back on the tripod So the nice thing about this is I got mine twenty-four dollars, um, twenty-five bucks. It's uh, six by fifty feet. It's gonna last me forever, and uh, basically, it's very, very, very simple. I just let me uh, take this one apart. I cut pieces to go over the uh, the respirator, and you could just tuck it in like that. it to make it easier and it's just a rubber band and a square piece 
Uh, can take this one apart too. And when we put it back together, this one is a brand new filter cartridge. These are the uh, P100 cartridges. Um, basically, all you do is you put it over the cartridge and then you tuck it in and then you could just shove everything on the on the lip on the bottom and then you just make sure that you're able to get the rubber band on the lip just using these rubber bands right here and you just get it like that and then you know you could fix it so that it's uh not in your sight and then you take your other piece and you just put it over wrap it around and this should actually really prolong the life of the uh, of the P100 cartridge that I'm using for painting since there are no N95 masks um, available right now but you can clean it up a little bit and you can even you can even change it up um, as your uh, as your painting um, hold on, let me see. when you put it on it doesn't change the the breathing or like the air that that comes in but when you start painting all the paint will uh, get stuck over here and uh, when you want to remove it or you want to change it in the middle of painting all you got to do is pull and then it comes off I'll put the Amazon link for that uh, for that fabric for that fabric frost fabric plant for fabric frost it's made by DeWitt um, kind of looks like the stuff that you would use for a blow-in insulation also um, but that's pretty much it um, on full face respirators I probably would never use one of these for painting uh, but you know with the with the bigger canister it would be a lot easier to do uh, probably don't even need to tie it oh yeah still need to tie it around like that Ugh. and it would still block the uh the actual thing this is just a rough what's it called if I was gonna actually use this I would uh, take better time and it would be actually it's actually easier to do things when you're not taking a video but that is pretty much it that is uh, it's these guys right here DeWitt Supreme 1.5 ounce 6x50 plant frost protection. And that's what I'm using for covers for my respirators.